On number five, it says, given the enthalpies of formation for each substance, and it gives those in a table, um, and it gives us the reaction, calculate the enthalpy for the reaction represented above. Um, and so we just need to do our enthalpies of our products minus our enthalpies of our reactants. Um, so I'll start with the products. Let's see, products. Um, so I have four NO2, so I'll do four times the enthalpy value for NO2, um, which is 33.18, four times 33.18 uh, kilojoules per mole, that's why I'm multiplying by the number of moles, plus my value for oxygen, um, one times, well, zero, so I'll write it in, but we don't even really need to write it in here. One times zero is going to, of course, be zero. So there are my products minus my reactants. Reactants. I just like to label things so you know what I'm doing here. Um, and then I have two moles of my reactant, so two times the enthalpy of formation value for N2O5, which is 11.3 kilojoules per mole. Okay, and so if I go ahead and do a little bit of math here, this is just some multiplication and some addition or some subtraction here. Um, in this first set of parentheses, I get 132.72 minus, in the second set of parentheses, 22.6. Um, and so when I complete that subtraction problem, I get 110.12 kilojoules. Um, and this comes out positive, so I know that the reaction is endothermic. So that is my delta H value, so I'll rewrite that up here. Delta H equals positive 110.12 kilojoules. All right, and so there's my first answer here. Delta H for the reaction. Then part B says if 332 kilojoules of energy are input into the reaction, what mass of NO2, so it means grams, could be made? And so here I'm going to need some dimensional analysis. I'll start with that 332 kilojoules, always starting with my given value. And I want to figure out grams, so I'm first going to take my kilojoules to moles of NO2 because I know that I can directly relate that through our delta H value for the reaction, which we found, and it's now listed right here. Uh, and then once I have moles, then I can convert my moles to grams with the molar mass of NO2. All right, and so first I'll do my kilojoules to moles. I know that um, every time I do the reactions, every time I produce four moles of NO2, I use 110.12 kilojoules. So four moles of NO2 is 110.12 kilojoules. And then my gram to mole conversion, I know that one mole of anything is equal to the molar mass. So I'll do 14 plus 16 times 2 to get me about 46 grams per mole. Uh, and then when we solve this out, 332 divided by 110.12 times 4 times 46, um, I get a final answer of 554.74. Um, but of course, I do need to round this answer to correct sig figs, um, and we should have three because that is how many are in our given value of 332. So I'll round it to, um, this is going to round up, so 555 grams of NO2. And notice, even though I kind of skipped writing the substance in my last step here, I do need to have a, final, a substance on my final answer. So be careful of that if you are shortening your dimensional analysis. And there's our final answer here.